Hello viewers, welcome to Daily Politics. Tonight on the show, we are joined by Dr. Umar Arlo, the governorship candidate of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in the just concluded Adamawa governorship election. Despite coming thought in the contest, Dr. Arlo has been vocal about his dissatisfaction of the entire process and its conduct. He will share his reasons during the course of our conversation. Welcome to the program, Dr. Thank you very much. Yes. I'm your host, Hamza Idris. Welcome to the program once again. We'll go on a short break, and when we return, the conversation commences. Don't go away. Yes, doctor, yeah. the election has come and gone, specifically that of Adama. Why are you dissatisfied with the, with the outcome, despite becoming thought? Well, uh, the aim of a contest is actually not necessarily to win, but to participate. But when you are participating, you should participate on the basis of a level playing ground, on a free and a fair election. The election in Adamawa was neither free nor was it fair. Now, a free election is an election where the electorate vote their conscience without inducement, without cajoling, without uh, any form of uh, uh, intimidation, uh, intimidation uh, and so on. It didn't happen like that in other mass states. The election basically took two major formats. In the cities, well, when I say cities, I mean about the local government, the, the uh, capital, state capital, yes. and then like in the Yobe local North, government. I mean, uh, Yola yes, North, Yola, Yola South, South yeah. Mubi, Mubi yeah. you know, and then the local government headquarters. In these areas, the election was basically a market square. It how, was, how do you mean it was, it was both vying. They were buying votes like no man business. You mean openly? Openly. Openly. Everybody will be coming, you know. In fact, it is not just the vote buyers. Surprisingly, and sadly too, the voters themselves, they wait to see who will come and pay. And how much the will The highest pay? bidder in that region? So most uh, uh, like that. That's what happened in the, uh, cities, in, the, yeah. in the cities. So by its nature, it wasn't free. Because given the endemic poverty that the PDP and APC government over the years have reduced the people of the country. And in fact taking us beyond level of poverty to the level of destitution, people kill for ten naira, so to speak. Mm. So when they are offered 2,000, 3,000, 5,000. Or a wrapper. Or a wrapper. Or uh, bag of a rice. bag of rice. That is 5 kg bag of rice. Not or 10, 50 or 10, kg. Or 10 kg bag of rice, which the APC and the PDP candidates had in trailers. Are you alleging or? No, I know for a fact. Okay. I know for a fact. You know, so people easily sell their votes. They succumb. Therefore, they sell their conscience. So they are not voting freely and they did not vote freely. And in the local, in the, in the villages, the vote buying was there, but it's not as high as those in the local government headquarters. But here is intimidation. The PDP with its own uh, police and talks. Because and the then, governor is PDP. Because the governor is PDP, is controlling the state machinery also. He has his own uh, 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 talks, he has his own, and I've been PDP. I know the violent nature of Adama politics within the PDP. I've experienced it, I've experienced it three times. Three times, my house was attacked, destroyed at one, at one point. So there, they now coerce 
the people, garrison the area, and then do what they wanted to do. Those of us who, are, who don't have the talks and who are not even aligned to go in this way, are you saying you don't have talks and what about I don't, inducement, I don't have, I don't, money I, to, do, I, to, to induce the voters? By the time I finish paying my voters, I mean paying my agents, yeah. all I Which had is was, legal, right? Yes, all I had was less than 17 million. And it is at that time that the APC and the PDP candidates were coming out with billions. Billions or millions? Billions. You know. Throughout this election, I've been to each and every local government in Adamawa State. I've been to so many wards in Adamao State. I have seen virtually each and every stakeholder, every sect of this, in the society. Did you I give them money them. when you visited them? No, there is a tradition. <clears throat> when you visit people, you give them gifts. What I do is to give a uh, cross or, 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 or so perfume. Like or, per souvenirs. or perfume, yes. Or perfume or wristwatch. And then my book that I publish on court and politics. But is that not inducement in that your is, estimation? Of course, no, no, this is, this is, this is a, a conventional. This is traditional. And I, I don't, I, when I go and meet with the traditional rulers, I met with each and every traditional ruler but one in Adamawa State. And that one, uh, two times I wanted to meet him. That is His Royal Highness, the Murumbula. Mm. Two times I wanted to meet him, but two times he was not in. And then two times he gave me an appointment, and two times I was not able to make it. These things happen. Yeah. Other than him, I met with each and every traditional ruler in the state. I met with virtually all the religious leaders in the state. I met with virtually all, you know, the uh, associations, I mean, uh, farmers association, uh, women groups, youth groups, all the group, stakeholders. Every stakeholder. I went to the villages and I met with the women, I met with the children. I saw the endemic poverty in Adamawa State. And we sat down with them, we discussed with them. Together we formulated our uh, solutions to, our problem, to these problems. And then I extracted from them, you know, commitment of support. Only on election day yeah. that the PDP, and the APC came up with their own, you know, uh, format, on toward tactics of vote buying and the inducement and then aggression. So this is what happened in Adama, and this is how the election took place in Adama. Therefore, I am not surprised that we ended up having PDP and APC fighting each other, you know, cutting the throats of each other. Now, now, what happened? What happened on on on, on that day? I mean, the, the first day of coalition, before the supplementary. Well, you, you had my, my, uh, uh, my state coalition officer had a virtual interview with you. Yeah. And he told you exactly, you know, the, uh, the position of the SDP in the election in Adama said It was just, it was, as he described it, a naked dance, you know, in, 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 of shame in the marketplace. That was what that was what happened. These two things of inducement, vote buying, and then aggression. So I am finding it difficult to pin down some of these allegations to specific personalities. For instance, after the main election, that is the first leg, it was the governor who was crying foul. Mm. Now, just yesterday, it was Binani who was crying foul. Mm. Today, INEC was responding to Binani saying her claim that INEC officials were compromised during the second uh, segment of the election is unfounded. Where do you belong? You, you have not been saying anything. Let me uh, use this word. You see, <clears throat> in the 72 hours yeah. before INEC finally took the decision to resume collation, mm -hmm. What transpired within these 72 hours? That is, the three things, three key things happen. One is the issue of electoral fraud. Okay. Two is the issue of bribery. And three is the issue of electoral violence. Now, the electoral fraud and bribery is alleged to have been committed by the APC candidate in collusion 
with some INEC officials in the state. And the, the bribery and uh, electoral violence is alleged. This one, there is evidence that to have been uh, uh, committed by the PDP candidate in the state in uh, 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 a coalition with some, you know, uh, maybe INEC officers or the, the uh, state the security operators. operatives. Okay, let's start with, with the APC. You now, said Binani and some um, INEC officials. Does she have any connection with INEC? Now, it's now, just a senator, right? Now, now, now the, three, the three key issues mm. of electoral fraud, of bribery, of uh, violence, you have seen all these three. The electoral fraud is the coming of the wreck to usurp the duties and responsibilities. That's Hudu. Of, uh, Hudu yes, Hudu, of uh, the returning officer. Yeah, Professor uh, Mele. Professor Mele. And then without concluding the coalition, he now declared her as governor elect. So you think and, he was induced? And, and I, I don't know about. Because about, about Benani wait, issued wait, a statement wait, wait, that. Wait, uh, wait a minute, true. wait okay. a minute. Wait a minute. Let's look at Let's analyze it. All right. Less than three minutes after the her, after his declaration that Binani won the election, mm. you know, Binani was holding an acceptance speech, and NTA was there. So what it tells you is this: that it's not coincidence that there is a collusion between the INEC officials. Allegedly, yeah. Allegedly, INEC officials, well, at least you can deduce yeah. INEC officials, the candidate herself, and then the NTA. Because you cannot hold these things to all these things cannot happen in less than 10, 15 minutes. There are other reporters from various um, uh, media houses. Yeah, okay. So, but my, 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 the yes. why I'm saying NTA is because, you see, First, I told you the election was not free, mm. and I explained what I meant. Yeah. Now, the election was also not fair. It was not fair in the sense that, first and foremost, the APC candidates. Yes. We saw the president, you know, uh, uh, Buhari. Yes, make uh, a national brokers in Hausa, asking the people of Adama to go and vote for Binani, and that he had worked with Binani in PTF, and Binani was good, and this and that. I have no problem with that. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's within his right, right? party. Yeah, I have no problem with that. Okay. But the fallout of that presidential uh, uh, brokers is what I have problem with. Because from the moment the president made that brokers, the entire agencies, federal agencies mm. in Adamawa state tilted towards her. You are talking about police? I'm talking INEC, about the military. DSS. I'm talking about the police. I'm talking about INEC. I'm talking about DSS. I'm talking about uh, Nigeria Broadcasting Corpor uh, Commission. But this allegation, right? Yeah. No, no, they, they, they tilted because I was there. I have, I have reasons why. Okay. For example, this, yeah. no, for example, she just made one phone call that in this house, they are tom printing the results and this and that. And that, I think, turned out to be the situation room of the PDP uh, candidate. Yeah. And, and we did we did a few within yes. a few you know minutes after her call, the military was there, the police was there, everybody was there, and they went wow. and found out that. How did you get the information, was, Doctor? It, it was on the media now. Yeah. It was there. They, I can send you the video clips. And they went, they raided they the went place. They went there, they raided the place. Following her directive. Well, following her, you know, just a simple call. I'll call a thousand times, I will not get attention of anybody. So you are saying indirectly that is, that she, is, she that got undue advantage. That, of course, that is one. Two, you know, she met with, I know for a fact she met with INEC officers, you know, in Adamawa State, you know, with regards about four different meetings. We held a press conference. I held a press conference on Wednesday the 15th, three days to the election. And I brought, you know, these issues. I, I called for 
uh, uh, intervention. Nobody listened to me. Nobody even acted. Then three, six, almost seven months after her emergence as a candidate of APC, INEC, INEC, INEC gave her a contract. Get Binani. Yeah, contract her of company, what? Binani printed a contract of about 430 something million naira to print what? To print governorship results sheets. But not for Adamawa. Yeah, not for Adamawa. It's for the other states. But what it means is that she has access to INEX sensitive materials and she has access to the workings of INEC in that. And she's also given financial advantage by that contract over and above you know, the... Uh, have, have you raised the, alarm? Have you spoken I, to I have, like I, INEC I, chairman I, or any other I, official? I have, I have raised alarm. I have raised alarm. I have spoken with INEC leadership. And the, 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 what the other leadership was just simply saying is what you just said. That Adama is not included. Okay, Adama is not included. And later, INEC came out, you know, with a press release saying that um, they went to CAC and checked and then found out that her name was not, you know, in the DC. But I know it is her, com it is her company. You see, we, when she opened that company, it's on the news, you know, and it is open in her own name. Then go and check the account of this company. If this account of this company is not you know, were signed by her. Let them go and check. The truth is this. Yeah. This has given her financial advantage. But even if it, uh, even if it's not, what it means is that INEC has already tilted, you know, towards giving her advantage. But why is it that you didn't apply to get contract? You're also a Nigerian. You can, you can feel free and apply, doctor. Well, it, it, uh, it's not about me. It's about what happened. You're talking about integrity. It is about what happened. It is, uh, it is whether I apply or not, it is another matter. I'm not a printer. I'm not, you know, I'm not yeah. into contract. I've never done any contract, you know, but this is what happened. So the issue of fairness is just not, not there. Then we are also, when the REC did this declaration. Who do, Ari? Who do? The police commissioner was there. Wow. The director of SSS was there. And the commandant of the civil defense was there. That's security apparatus. Of the federal government. And the previous night, at 1 o'clock, my collection officer, my collection officer, state collection officer was there. They, they, they agreed that we are going to reconvene by 11 o'clock the next day. That by 1, let us go back. We have our Muslim brothers who want to go and do sahur mm -hmm. and get ready for tomorrow and so on. So they now disperse you know, to reconvene by 11. Only by 9 o'clock, two hours to the scheduled time, that they reconvene. Now, didn't the police ask questions? Didn't they know that, you know, the collection has been... A, a scheduled a, a, or something like that. But, but he didn't see the uh, no electoral yeah. officer. You know, he didn't see the agents of uh, political parties. You know, and that the collection itself was not complete the previous day. So didn't they know that? Didn't they know that there's, uh, there's, uh, there's a fraud being committed? Is this Binani alone or you, you think it's I'm not saying I'm not saying it is Binani. But, you know, it is in her favor. Maybe they did it without consulting her. I doubt it. But I'm not saying it is her. Now, this is it. Then, <clears throat> the issue of violence. Now, in the issue, the issue of violence also they brought about the issue of bribery. Because we saw the deputy director of operations for the DSS, who was malhandled, who was dealt with, and who now said that there was a two billion naira, you know, bribe that was given, you know, to somebody. And that was where we, ha we, we have serious issue up till now. That who were the people interrogating that deputy director of, of DSS? The deputy, they, they because were they, 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 have they, you seen some pointers to say <clears> that <throat> most likely those interrogating him, you know, are aligned to a certain camp? It is they, well, ob ob obviously, obviously, from the proceedings of the interrogation, yeah. you can deduce that it is the governor's talks. So we are not talking about PDP side now. No, now it's about yeah. PDP side. 
it is the governor's talks that are doing and i know for allegedly a fact, and i know for a fact that the chief detail of the governor was leading it i know for a fact as we speak now the chief detail is in detention wow so now <clears throat> and also the uh, director general of the pdp campaign was there and was discussing with uh, Professor, is it Professor Zuru? Yeah, Professor Zuru, yeah, the National Commissioner. The National Commissioner who, went there to who, was, who was who was uh, who was molested, beaten, in blood, stripped, and so on. You know, some this, said he was mistook for uh, <clears throat> Ari. It really does not matter. matter. But if you see the interrogation that took place when the Director General of uh, the PDP campaign you know was doing it, he he clearly they, they knew that it was not him. So this is not him. So the talks were insisting that he is a national commissioner. He should still tell them where Hudu is hiding because he is, uh, he is an accomplice to this. So there was no remorse on their part. Now, these two violent you know, episodes that happened, clearly, you know, it's, uh, to, it was done by the PDP side. Now you have indicted both PDP and... APC. I yeah, remember you, you, why, you, you issued a statement. I was our reporter in your lab. issued a statement. Yeah, he, he on to you INEC also. Yeah. That INEC should not conclude the coalition, important as it seemed it seemed to be, because there is a crime involved in this now. Was that why you called for the suspect that, that the there two should be this But beyond calling, be, beyond mm. stoppage of coalition, you yeah. also said that Binani and Fintiri should be disqualified. Yeah. Why did you make that? Because, because, because they were involved in, in, in these three, you know, uh, criminal episodes. In the electoral fraud, in the bribery issue, and in the uh, violence. So when a, an issue of this nature is involved, then you should halt any other thing, resolve this force. But INEC failed to do so. Going by the guidelines. INEC failed to do so. Why do you think INEC failed to do that? I think maybe INEC maybe became jittery that if it didn't do something, that their violence could erupt in the state. And because the PDP people were threatening, and they have demonstrated their threat by dealing with the INEC National Commissioner and then dealing with the SDSS officer, so they could make good of their threat. So maybe that blood John INEC you know, to go and uh, do what well, they, they, an, they have to a, do. It's a national, you know, institution with all the <clears throat> protection it, it, it needs. It may be afraid that, you know, a delay from their side may lead to violence and, del and killings and so on in the state. That may be. I'm only making a conjecture. Yeah, yeah. But my position is that it's wrong for INEC not to have gotten the criminal aspect of this issue resolved first before concluding the civil aspect, which is the collection of results and announcement of candidates. Let us, you know, because if you are involved in this kind of things, you are not worthy to be a leader. You are not worthy to get certificate of our leadership. Some will say your call for the disqualification of the two leading contenders it might be self-serving yeah people will say so but that you should evaluate the, uh, the matter on the basis of the facts and the logic of it people may say okay because i came taught i want them disqualified so that i will uh I will. in fact i can vast this position myself but it is a natural thing that you must take care of criminal issues before you go into other matters civil matters yeah now, what are you going to do? Are you going to court to challenge the declaration of Fintiri or you have surrendered? Well, it's not an issue of surrendering. <clears throat> we are still evaluating the situation. We have gotten our, our evidences across the state and uh, uh, we are waiting for the report of the uh, investigations yeah. instituted by by the DSS, we hope they will give us the result of this, uh, of this, uh, their, their, know, findings, their, yeah. their findings. If the result of their findings have indicted both the, the APC and the PDP candidate.